Okay, so I'm on top of a rooftop in Valley Stream at this rooftop unit that Mike was at the other day with Peter, and I'll show you what we're doing. Here is our unit. Mike ordered a bunch of parts that carry a recommended replacement based on the pictures. And Peter's just opening it up to see what parts we actually do have. But I pulled off all the panels and I pulled out this gas burner assembly. Um, I believe we have new igniter. But uh, just in case, I'm not going to uh, completely disconnect it. I don't want anything to break that I don't have replacement for. But, um, we're supposed to have igniters, burners, to replace these burner tubes. Um, this is a flame sensor right here. Pull that off. Um, this went to common on our gas valve. The red went to high, and the gray went to M. Just saying that now so I don't forget. But you can see, I mean, there's rust attached to the screwdriver. Just how bad of a condition this unit's in. But I'll show you the more important part, which is the heat exchanger. Uh, once I pop this out of here, cut it out. And try to fish it through here. Don't think it's gonna fit. No. Um, but this is the heat exchanger. You can see how like burnt up this uh, insulation is because of all these holes in it. Gaping holes, those aren't cracks. They're full on holes through it. We got one over there. And we got this mess right here. So hopefully we can get this all in place. Nice and easy. And I just started disconnecting everything. I cut some wires just for ease of reassembly. I know where they'll uh, hook back up on the board. Uh, we do have a new inducer here. We have burners, three burners. Looks like the plate that the burners come into. We're gonna have to see how that all goes when we pull it apart. This right here, looks like that's where the inducer mounts on right here and the burners will go probably right here yeah so should go together nicely and there's our new heat exchanger with a lot of gaskets so i've replaced one r2 heat exchanger this will be my second and so far it looks like it's gonna be easy, but we will see. Looks like it'll all angle and pull out, but we'll start taking these uh, bolts off and get it disassembled. Okay, got the inducer mostly unscrewed. Uh, some of the screws were just snapping, but look at that. The blades on this inducer are gone. Take a look at this one, nice blades, nice uh, ring holding it all together compared to that. Wow. Side by side. Pretty crazy. Put this back down so that gasket doesn't fall away. It's a little bit windy. And look at this. I can just pull all this metal apart. And I'm just pushing in there. So we'll get all these unbolted and hopefully pull it out. Okay, so we have everything unbolted. And oh, we have to undo this right here. And while you watch me struggle, uh, remember to take a look in my description for uh, Amazon link to all the tools that I use daily, uh, what I carry in my tool bag, and I make a little of a commission off of it. Grab the socket set. Okay, so I undid that. Uh, just hit the bolt right there. I left it out for a nut. And we're gonna pull it right out. So, hold 
on. I gotta reposition that stupid bolt. Yeah. And boom. Heat exchanger is out. Side. Had a little bit of cleaning up to do. Not much we could do about this. But yeah, should be uh, straightforward from here. Okay, so they gave us a boatload of gaskets, but then the parts themselves also came with the same gaskets. But it looks like we got everything assembled the way that it needs to go. Our uh, burner something plate is right there. The uh, inducer motor is on, this plate is on, and everything looks identical to the old one. So I think that we are ready to slide this in. Um, yeah, because I think we'll put the burner in afterwards. Everything looks like it's accessible for after the fact, so we'll get it into place and i'll clean all this up after but i cleaned out all the uh, debris from inside the unit that way we can have everything nice and uh on there properly i wonder if they gave us a gasket for right here okay so we got the new one in place peter's tightening that little mounting bracket uh, we're gonna have to push a little bit but the screw should also pull it in and uh yeah so far so good Okay, so, okay, so that's good then. That's easy enough. Peter's gonna figure out the wiring, get that all hooked up, and I am going to install the burners. Now I know burners have to have an orientation, a special orientation. So I'm just gonna take a look at these and see, because why is this one, a different orientation than the rest. Uh, it looks like this is how they are. Like that in there. This is weird, but okay. Okay, so I made sure that all these orifices were clear prior and then put these on. I brushed this off as well as I could. It's kind of like rusted on, rusted little bubbles, but should be able to get that in nice and easy. Just like two screws here and here. Uh, these, we have our igniter and our flame sensor, which are different than what was there, but it should, uh, be fine. Uh, those go on that bottom plate right here, so I'll get those in. Uh, flame sensor was here, igniter was here. And those are in. Uh, they had Phillips before, but I used the 5 because I'd rather every screw be the same but you can see this one's gonna sense flame on the last burner this will ignite the first that way um, if only two burners are working it won't run because it won't sense the flame and it lights this one first because that's where gas will come through first so Peter got the gas assembly slid in and you could I don't know if you could see there's an indent there a little screw hole yeah and then there's gonna be one on the other side and Get your screws in there. You may be able to get the screws in first and then put it on, then put the burner assembly on it because it has those little notches. Might be easier that way. Or I could hold it. Uh, yeah, you should be able to get that one in. You just go straight. Here? Yeah. Yep, that's it. That's the hole? Yep. Okay, and then the other one, let's see. The other one I put a screw in because I'm special. Uh, hold on. Is there a screw? Yeah, it's gotta be backed out and we gotta undo that one to do it, so. No, 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 put it in, just not all the way. And now you can lift the burner above it to pull it out. You're gonna have to pull the burner out. Oh, you think you fit in? Just loosen it a hair. Can you stick it through the hole in the burner? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so that is installed. It's pretty secure on there. Uh, yeah, that's that kind of just wiggles, but that'll hold down and it'll be gas piped in, hard piped in. Uh, our wires here. We have this on high and no, no, those stay for the flame sensor and igniter. There was a brown wire for a common right here. No, that was our ground. There was a brown wire for common that slipped in. Did it disappear? Yeah, where did it go? Okay, this igniter had a special round uh, connector on it that I don't have, so I just cut uh, cut one of the ends off a spade connector and it fits on nice and secure, so hopefully that's okay. Um, we'll see what happens, but if not, we'll have to get the new ignition cable. See if I can get it on there. <sighs> Pretty secure, it's not moving, so I think it'll be fine. Uh, the rest is just a matter of you sh probably shouldn't do that because what happens if you do that and the unit were to be on? It's not on, and to take your fingers off, yeah, but you want to act like it is on. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll get everything put together and we can run it. Peter's grabbing pipe dope so we could put the gas piping back together, but I saw this trick on TikTok, before you start up a unit in heating, because it's a new heat exchanger and there's gonna be, like, it might be smoky from any oils on the metal, you block the cover, you block the airflow from going in, and that way it just blows it right out. And you don't smoke up the building or make it smell. So I thought that was really cool. But uh, yeah, hopefully <laughs> it runs without issue. This is crazy. Okay, everything is officially together. Gas piping. Also threw a new capacitor and a four microfarad capacitor for the inducer motor. Where's the old one? The old capacitor. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, four microfarads. It's, it's like bulging and we replaced the inducer. We, have, we should replace the capacitor. Um, I am going to, with my screwdriver, Disconnect our Y wire just in case there's a call for cooling. And I am going to jump out with the jumper that I believe is in my pocket, R and W. Okay, I had to put a little jumper in. I didn't have my magnetic one, but we're on and then heating. Flame immediately. Hopefully, it senses it. It's working. And then our blower should kick on. Yeah, we got smoke. So, it's the first time it's ever run. Good thing I did that. Put a cover on the bottom so that when the fan kicks on, it doesn't blow smoke inside. One of your first ones. <laughs> yeah, I smoked out one of my first rooftop unit jobs. So. Why is it smoke? Just because of the oils on the metal from when they made it. There's our blower. And we'll let it air out for a while. Now we know it works. This this bee was following me. It landed on the iPad and I put the iPad down, or wasp. And uh, now it's just chilling on the iPad. Oh, now it's chilling on the Amazon tools box. I don't know why it keeps coming back. Yeah, he got stuck in the wind. Yeah, there you go. This 
needs to be him. Yeah, I got him. He's in two pieces. Just letting it all air out. It still smells and don't want to set off any smoke alarms, but we've been running for a good amount of time now without any issues. I did uh, forget to replace the uh, limit sensors, that one. And that one, which you can see are new now, I replaced them. But, uh, yeah, everything looks like it's gonna be good. And for anyone that's interested, here is the rating plate, which is really hard to see. Uh, looks like it's a four ton. Uh, 6.2 pounds of refrigerant 410A. So it's not, not terribly old, it's definitely old. And I'm gonna try to show you that nice blue flame. Still good to go, no issues or errors or anything. And while we let it run, we're just gonna assemble all the uh, panels that we took off. That way uh, we could button the unit back up. Whoops, forgot to put the electrical panel on. I just got that on video. <laughs> and finished it off with the raised dome pipe doctor sticker. I don't know why Peter gave me that one, but he did. Why'd you choose the raised dome? No. It's nice with the... Yeah, but this unit's 500 years old. Exactly, to show, to show that we care about our equipment that we work on. It doesn't matter the age. We always... So we finished up with that. It was, uh, it was, I enjoyed doing it. I thought it was a lot of fun and it was super easy. Um, but uh, it was kind of unexpected. It was, today it, got, it was put on my schedule for Friday and it's Wednesday, Tuesday. So Mike was like, do you want to do it today? And I said, uh, I guess so. So we did it today. But it's uh, 2.30 and I'm already headed home. I just stopped at Taco Bell to get a uh, quesadilla. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Like it if you liked it. Comment any advice or criticisms or feedback and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I got black on my nose.